Hey man, there's a shit in the shit in the West Coast. West Coast. That that was awesome. Yeah, that feedback's excellent. Never heard it this good. Kick what guy? Oh, why, why do people like Brett Keen? That's the really interesting question. What the fuck would that person be thinking? Right, Brett? That must confuse Brett even. He probably sits there at night saying, Why the hell would anybody find me appealing? Uh, that's right. It seems a preposterous question. Why would anybody ask such a preposterous question? It's like asking, Well, what is the nothing? Yeah, I mean, I would be just cr crazy. Yep, it's a weird one. I heard your brain on that one. How you been, Brett? I'm just sitting there chilling. How's your health been? Chilling. Yeah, that's good. I remember when you were dying for a while there, so, you know, it's good you didn't, you know. Felt kind of bad. Keen's wearing sunglasses in the dark. Yeah, well, he's Brett Keen, and uh, that's what he does. Orn. Orn. Oh, look, look, it's a whole gang of them now. Okay, Mr. Hey, Mr. Brad Keen. Share a story, story with us. He is I. He is I something. No! Hey, Suna, go away. Yeah, go kill the he is I guy. Anyway, all right, come on, people. We need a subject. Let's go. Um, he's a racist. Ain't much of a subject. Come on, we need a subject. About the new planet. About the new planet. Oh, I already talked about in that video. But anyway, yeah, it's just so lame. The whole way they phrase this thing, the whole way they make a big deal out of it. Now you have scientists talking about, well, I would expect there to be life on that planet. Even somebody else said that today. I heard somebody else interview. Who the hell said that? And it really pissed me off. I mean, ha people have no appreciation for exactly, you know, how much evidence we have that life does not happen easily. That DNA molecules do not all of a sudden start you know, creating cellular membranes and reproducing themselves all over the fucking universe. And it just really pisses me off that no one takes this stuff seriously. I mean, Carl Sagan really did do a lot of damage with his stupid Drake Equation bullshit. Uh, Say Mars is the way to go. Get Mars in six months. Oh, whatever, Mars. What are you going to do with Mars? Freeze your nuts off. No, when I was a kid, they called it the Red space? Planet. I mean, what the fuck is the fucking point? I mean, really? I mean, what? You know, what do you think? Were you going to find some hot chicks on Mars? I mean, where, where the fuck would I want to go to Mars? Oh, cool. Rocks. Ooh, yeah, ooh, rocks, ooh, yeah, they're really far away from Earth. Ooh, ooh, what the fuck? The whole thing is just fucking stupid. I was a kid, they would call it the Red Planet, and all the scientists were like, oh yeah, Earth is the only place with water, like, anywhere. <laughs> and fucking now, it, it fucking snows on Mars now. Got a huge fucking polar ice cap filled with fucking water. And there's more and more water on it every day. There's not more and more water on it every day. <laughs> it's just the water isn't like flying out of the sun, flying into Mars. It's not like a hose from the Earth to Mars. Oh yeah, we're sp yeah we're sp yeah we've got sprinklers on Mars. Uh, whatever. 
But no, it's just this whole idea that we expect to find life all over the universe, that we expect it. These people expect it. And it's just so stupid not to realize it only happened one fucking time in all of Earth history. And with all of our technology, we can't even make it happen. We can't even do it. And people think it just happens like, oh, yeah, it just happens. Every planet, yeah. So as soon as it has a little bit of water and sunshine, oh, yeah, little living things pop up and flowers and bees and all kinds of shit. No, it doesn't work that way, you fucking idiots. dish that is capable of flying a virtual <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> this isn't real no this cannot be real <laughs> I mean if you can fly a plane in a dish I mean well, why would you even worry about the epilepsy thing but whatever I mean just oh, well, whatever they already understand epilepsy pretty well Actually, the only reason why I want to go into space is fucking I don't really want to go onto any other planets I just want to be in fucking space and be floating Cool. Yeah, well, for a couple thousand bucks, you can take that little airplane trip, and they'll zero gravity you, and you can throw up and say, "Oh, that that was fun." So I don't, you know, I really don't get it. I really, I just don't get it. But whatever, people. Yeah, well, look, the anti-gravity thing is a nice thing, but you can sort of get some of that in water. You know, when you go swimming underwater, it's, you know, you're, you're kind of buoyant. You're doing the anti-gravity thing, so that's close enough for me. Let me get some fucking goddamn coffee. I'll be back shortly. Hi, the fucking thunder and lightning guys never said goodnight. <laughs> I'm a little bit heartbroken by that. <laughs> Bastards. Mm, fucking homos. Um. <clears throat> Here comes now. Oh, right, yeah, coffee. Coffee. I want to get your coffee. So I'll be back. Oh, Annika, you did change your name. <laughs> this is my only account. This is the only account I have in the whole. Yo, this is the only account. And then you show up with another account. <laughs> oh, she's doing that. Oh, I'm a black girl. Oh, I can be a black girl. I can do that head bobby thing. No, no, I didn't say that. I changed my username, I, like up here, I the was display name up there. Because people know me as Annika. I was just flirting. You don't have to explain. I was just flirting. I'm listening to Rancid, so I like to dance like a valley girl when I listen to, like, Rancid. Oh, I see. Rancid. What's their best song? What's it's Rancid's best song. Putrid. Putrid. <laughs> yeah, what's uh, Maggot? <laughs> what's the best song? Uh, Bacteria Bacteria infestation. infestation. Yeah, just people always with names. It just it. came up randomly playing. I keep music going most of the day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I used to do that when I was young, too. But, now yeah, I'm an old crank. You know. I'm old, too. I'm, I'm not, not young. Well, you're pretty young. Come on. You can't be more than, like... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Gary's calculating. What's the best you thing to say? You know how old I am. 18! <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing to say. You know how old I am. Yeah, that's the best thing to say. I must have forgot. Ah, okay, 31. Yes, yes, that's, that's not a rememberable number. I'm not 31, I'm 30. I'm almost 31. My dad was born in 59. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. I'm as old as your dad. That's the. That's why I know. Oh God, damn. That's why you think I'm younger. It's because my dad is wow. 15. Wow. <laughs> yeah, my dad's yeah, 51. Exactly. That's why I think you're younger. Is because I was old as your father. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh God. Oh, so Who's painful. your daddy? I'm over 18. I can't even get my coffee now. I'm so depressed. Uh, don't even bother, Jerry. Just die. Yeah, just die. Okay, I'm going to just die now instead of getting coffee. Okay. I'm going to force my heart to stop beating. Eh, didn't work. Well, I have to keep practicing. <laughs> I'll let you know when I get it right. Uh, that's funny. Uh. Yes, it will rule. I will die in Stickham. It's my promise to you people. Okay, I can't really promise that. But I'll do my best. I'll try. I are back. Quit open your mic, devil's guy. Uh, anyway, um, all right, so come on, come on, people, we need a subject. Yeah, Brett, you always good to bring up some kind of stupid, idiotic, moronic, fucktarded subject. So, what's in the National Enquirer this week? Oh, mm, we found Bat Boy on Mars again. I hear that. Combat more on Mars again. I don't get that one. It was in the Inquirer. Yeah, what well, was in the Inquirer? They found Elvis on Mars? What? Bat Boy on Mars, right next to Noah's Ark. Oh, <laughs> Bat Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some face on Mars, too. God. This God's face is on Mars. Enslaved. Yeah, that's a pretty lame name, actually. I did a website once, and some other work for this band. It was called uh, Pull Out Sun. And I was just like, you're like, what the, who the fuck? <laughs> you know, why would you name a band Pull Out Sun? I mean, that's just so fucking stupid. Yeah, well, whatever. I just, I don't know. So, I don't know. I'm mean, never any of these bands, but whatever.
But I never heard of bands when I was back in my generation. I didn't even, it was like, <laughs> who? <laughs> what? Beatles? What the, who the fuck are they? What? <laughs>